What was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Heartland Hitman's Little Skank here with Heartland Hitman's Birdnator and Heartland Hitman's End Vacuum to cast a very fantastic Heartland Hitman battle between our yellow Protoss in the bottom right hand corner spawning on Echelon Waste Sick. And in the upper left hand corner, we do have the purple Zerg from Heartland Hitman as well, Hippie Corpo. Gentlemen, how do you think this matchup's going to go? And what do you think we are going to see out of these two players? We've got a half an hour long game. Some shit's going down. I think. Hippie's got a six pool. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> He's got far too many drones for a six pool. <laughs> um, hello everyone, I am N Vacuum. Uh, we are from Heartland Hitman. We will be casting, as Skank, Little Skank said, a Heartland Hitman Heartland battle. Um... This will be fun. Anyone care to join in? <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Alright, so for right now, it's looking like it's going to be a long game. Um, I can't tell what <laughs> each player is doing yet. It, it most certainly is looking <laughs> like a long game. <laughs> Um, so, 13 gate. Everything looks really standard right now. Yeah, it's we got a 15, maybe a 14 pool going down for Hippie Corpo. 14 pool? That's, that's what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Double gas going down for Sick, our Protoss hero in the bottom left hand, or excuse me, bottom right hand corner spawning on Echelon Waste. Mm -hmm. Looking like uh, Hippie's getting ready to take and expand. And he is prepared to. Oh, he just did. He's got double gas for sick. <laughs> now, kind of a funny thing. Uh, I I read in the part of the image after this game was played, or after the series of games were played, and it sounded like both players were a little bit off their game. So this is going to be interesting to see. Um, Sick is doing something that Sasai has done in the past, and I really like the idea. I'm I'm losing you, Skank. <laughs> Again? I'm losing you. So we have for Sick two in each gas. Uh, it may be what looks like you're going into some Stargate Stargate play, and. That seems like a good option. Um, I haven't seen these two play each other at all. Let's see how it goes. Uh, with the Stargate, he could put on some early pressure. Probably put out a Oracle if he ever builds Stargate. I guess he's not building Stargate. Boom. Gas going down for hippie. Does that happen to be better? <laughs> what happened? Can you guys, can you guys catch me now? I can. Yeah, I got it. A little run by by hippie, uh, and sick cleans up as sick takes and expand. Forge down for sick and. Plus one's coming up, being researched. Man, I am having. <laughs> you guys, is it too loud? Uh, I can turn down my sounds. Loud. Loud. Let me turn down everything. Options. <sighs> How's that sound? I'm I'm having 
technical difficulties. Audio errors going on <laughs> no. right now. Like I've turned StarCraft sound all the way off in Windows. Even, oh yeah. And all I hear are Protoss structures warping in. I am so sorry. Maybe you should just watch Zerg. Unless you will hear Protoss structures. I have anyways. been actually. Uh, I have been. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Is it me then? It might be me. Well, anyways, here's a little attack for sick with a forward forward pylon. Uh, see what he wants to do here. Just apply a little bit of pressure, I would say. <laughs> I'd say more than a little bit with the uh, army he's got there. <laughs> that mothership is going to do some substantial damage, slowing these lings down if they actually do get down there to uh, fight. But this looks like a lot of zerglings. I don't know if you can hold it off. It'd be a recall. That pylon is essential. They need to kill that pylon. That pylon has got to die. Okay. Recall at the last second. Oh. Very last oh, second. But I, I think he just lost too much for for that recall to be worth it. But we'll find out. Uh oh. The recall should have happened sooner, probably. I think that was a back and six part. Um, Hippie did enough damage to her. Okay, so it's not me. <laughs> I think it's me. I think. With Maggie. It's me. Um. Turn your sound down. You can. I'm, I'm turning down my Please. sound. I'm turning down my StarCraft sound. Okay. There you go. All right. Sorry to ask. Uh, that a little better? Yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit. Is everything too loud? I I can still hear <laughs> game sounds, but it's not overwhelming. Like I was hearing. <laughs> like. Okay. Oh my god, that mothership core has got like a Thor inside. Is it? <laughs> no. You're fine now. Okay. Awesome. We do have a third getting made by Hippocorpo and actually starting to get a little bit of defense there, static wise, which is a nice thing to see. Hippocorpo, these overlords are kind of doing a little dance over here in the middle, which is fine. Let's. Sick has got quite a spread on his buildings, especially for warp gates. How do you guys. Usually with. Warp gates or gateways that I'm going to turn into warp gates. I like to uh, stack them up nice and tight. Yep. That seems a little weird to me. But um, maybe he was just in a hurry to place them down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we have plus two starting for sick. And what do we have for one one for hippie going mm. down carapace and melee. All right. We also have a hive going down. That seems like a fairly I'm not maybe not a fast hive, but it's certainly a little aggressive, I think, seeing what Hippie's had to deal with. I wonder what we're going to get out of him. Little I'm not viper too play. Yeah. I know Hippie's always talked about wanting to uh <laughs> play more with vipers, so hopefully we see some of that. Hopefully. They're fun. We also have a third going down for sick right now. Oh, nice. Third going down <laughs> for sick, and it looks like Hippie's third is a little oversaturated. <laughs> but that should be fine. Interesting. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, that should be fine. A little oversaturation on his third. He may just take those drones and turn them into some static defense. I'm sure he will. Or maybe build some more. Yeah. Yeah. Some sort of structure. Interesting point, I would say we've got charge for sick instead of blink. So we're not going to see a lot of stalkers out of sick. We're going to see a lot of zealots. How yeah. do you guys feel about that? I don't play Protoss a lot, but mm -hmm. it looks like zealots as tanky as they are in comparison to a lot of other low-tech units from other races. I I think this is going to be uh, something to note. Yeah, I th 
Sick may have seen a lot of Zerglings by Hippie, and that's why he's just going for going for Zealot play. Uh, I'm not sure if he will transition into there it is Templar and Archons. Now, now, do you think do you think that the fact that Sick is going mostly Zealots, which is a low tech, um, high mineral cost early on, but low mineral cost later in the game, unit that he is going to send a lot of Robo units, maybe Sky units out. Um, um it may be a little too have late. Hippie over here uh, shitting on six potential third, which is maybe why he took this one instead. Mm-hmm. Zelda's coming around to clean the lings up. We do have mortals out on the field. That we have had for a while. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, so it looks like Hippie is... Or Hippie. Six planning on transitioning to... High Templars. And... Hippie has a fourth up. and See what he wants to do with that. Right now, a few wings right now. I mean, that's not necessarily just a few. That's probably twenty, yes. twenty some, maybe thirty. But mm -hmm. he's not going to be able to do a whole lot with that. I th oh, the ultra list is out. That's Missed the ultra list cap. Uh, yeah, the Ling Ultra Linox style. See, sick. I'd like to. Uh, I would like to see sick carry. I mean, he built two observers, and they're just idling here. I'd like to see them move out. So earlier, I thought it was talking, but I guess my. Uh, Mike was muted. I've, I'm a big fan of that. If you're gonna build a, a heavy zealot composition early on in order to save the gas, to you know send them out across the map, especially against a zerg, you can uh, force a lot of units. You know, uh, slow down his tech, or at least uh, he won't be able to drone as easily. Sure. I would like to see the Protoss move out here. I like to see Sick move out here. You know, I'd like to see the same thing at the same time. He is getting Ling. Ling rushed here. He's going to lose probably all of those lings. Just, you know, I believe he just wants to the have a look at what's zealot. going on. Just wants to see yeah. how the composition holds up. And it's actually incredibly strong. <laughs> Versus this well, composition, yes. Ultra lists are going to tear through everything. And I agree with you, Bernadette. I think what needed to happen, maybe, was those observers should have moved could around the map a little bit more. Could have instead of just hanging out at home. And, you know, oh. very quickly switch uh, And there's a big engagement right here in the middle, but there's no, there's nothing protecting the Colossus, and right now it's just Colossus against all, and l luckily. Got four Ultralisk in production as well to back this up. Actually, those Archons have done some very substantial work on this army. Shelt's coming in to finish as well. Up. Couple Colos out for sick, yes. One's nearly dead, but... One's taken a lot of hull damage, but as that shield regens, that will be maybe a little bit and That less. is the benefit of uh, being ahead on upgrades right there. Uh-huh. Absolutely. This makes a big difference, especially against uh, you know, a very uh, melee-heavy Zerg. He'd be doing a run-by. I'm surprised he did not attack the pylon that is right here. Maybe it was the fact that he's He'd be doing some damage scared. here, though, in the natural. Yep. I'd like to see him run into the main there, buy a little bit more time, maybe uh, take out a few of these, not Artosis pylons, but uh, a few uh, lonely pylons, maybe a, a cybernetic score or the Robo Bay could have went down. You know, Hippie did something very, very interesting there. He just ran by, didn't even care, attacked the Nat, right? Attacked the base of the Nat, and then just built a shitload of... Ultras behind that. Oh, yeah. So let's see. I don't. I, yeah, I five just don't see how six gonna be able to respond to these ultras here. I mean, stalker zealot, not a. I mean, I think air here turns <laughs> off. He, he needs to turn charge off, as well. The uh, charging into an ultralist uh, never a good plan. Oh, the flank <laughs> here coming in. Oh, the ultralist is out of position hug. as Come well. <laughs> yeah, hippie caught yeah. sick out of position on this and. I just not be enough. 
I mean, I correct. I mean, uh, Colossus will not just not be enough to slow us down. There's too many. Well, the Colossus are probably going to kill most of this, depending on how many. There's nowhere for them to go. Larva Hippie has morphing right now, which it looks like he has quite a few. I see him target down that third, it's fourth base. Not too sure when that went up. That mothership core for six is actually doing some pretty decent work. It... Twelve kills, and I don't think it's died yet. It might here. It very well might here. Oh, it's gonna go down. It needs to uh, stop Colossus production anyway here. Maybe one or two is fine, but it needs to get into some uh, immortals. immortals. Yeah, make yep. him uh, make him pay for this ultralisk uh, change. <coughs> Immortal Archon Zealot actually a very powerful force. Yeah, the Archon's out early for sick. Really don't need the Colossus. Very, very big work on uh, the army that Hippie had. Absolutely. I mean, they just tear through any any uh, Ling, Roach, Hydra kind of army. Don't really need the Colossus in this composition at this point. E even Ling, uh, excuse me, Ling Ultra, like Hippie is going now. I mean, they help they tear through that along with they the help of the Colossi. The and then uh, he'll just need... Hippie, Hippie's about... Potentially about to lose a lot of units if he's not careful. Not too sure what's going on here. He'd be Maybe running into the third. Elsewhere. I mean, he can easily take these this army down. There he goes. There Lost he a go. lot of probes, though. Lost everything. Colo Archon coming down. Zealot. So many hugs going there. around. Sick managed to clean see, it up. Uh, I don't Hippie see how gonna... Sick's gonna recover here. Yeah, I don't know. Hippie is taking another base behind this. That is one thing. Um, I don't know about you guys. I talk to Hippie a lot. Hippie's a good guy, and he takes bases behind pushes. He's very smart about that. So when he makes a push, he will expand generally if he's able to, and. He's showing that again right here. Uh down at taking his bottom. at the bottom left, yeah. Yep. And he is if nothing else just gonna out macro sick this game, Absolutely. I think. He's up almost eighty supply. These and... uh, macro battles definitely uh favor hippie from uh, my experience with playing these two, with these two players anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not sure Void Ray is the answer either here. <coughs> I mean, it's zero not. zero void ray. Uh, probably, probably a terrible decision that he will regret. <laughs> we'll, yeah. Uh, only four minutes remaining. Let's see what happens here. I mean, void ray is just not a good uh, ultralist counter. Uh, uh, whereas an immortal, a uh, very good counter. Very heavy unit that can sit there and. Uh, deal with the damage. So. Absolutely. Void Ray's very slow unit. I mean, you can run the Ultras past them or around, and very well, hard Ultra to chase them. Tank the damage, especially when they're exactly. five three, right? That's one thing. Hippie executes the Leenock build better than he gives himself credit for, right? I mean, he's got Absolutely. obviously chitinous plating. He's got three three upgrades for every melee unit. And now we're. <laughs> that was only a handful the of thing we well. cannot pull. <laughs> <laughs> Like zealots outside a bath. Zerglings in production. He's going uh, killing murder. Chloe. It looks like a base trade, perhaps he's aiming for. I'd like to see him just head on destroy this army and. Uh... Honestly, a base trade right now would probably be the best thing he could do. He's already got ultra list down in the. Um... I believe natural. Oh, okay. And there's just not much Protoss units here. I mean, easily the Sendy just wave after wave take this down. You know, six is uh, so like supply. He's oh, catching oh, up. Oh, look at all those zerglings. Wow. Maybe last, but oh. <laughs> what I spoke about when we started the game is how uh, both these players were a bit rusty, haven't played. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really surprised Hippie just threw those Zerglings to their death right there. 
If he would have gone for the base trade, he should have. Uh, we'll slow him down, slow down the eighth pick me and he'll be uh go. No. Let's run it down over here. I'm I'm losing you guys. What do you think about <laughs> all this end vacuum? Uh it it's a pretty exciting game I would say. Um very tight game anyway, very close game. Could yeah. be won by either player. Yeah, but right. At this point, I mean, obviously we're favoring uh, Hippie. I just don't see how. Oh, we're not. We're not favoring anybody here. We're just talking about <laughs> Hippie. <laughs> at, at this point of the game, uh, it's pretty obvious that Hippie uh, will will pull out ahead. Hippie's just hugging. He is down here. Just got a rav hugging. two Ravager ultra up there. Yeah, just two Ravagers going to town. Yep. I have another Ravager here. Let's see if that last Ultralis gets another uh, tenth kill. I'm still surprised that Hippie threw <laughs> all of those, oh, those zerglings. zerglings away. Oh, a terrible move to hit the uh, Colossus Archon with all those wings. Hippie you know, really, I think it's space. been better served attacking, doing a little bit of damage, and running out. Because that army that he was fighting had no chance of catching up to him if he wanted to run away. There's the GG. Could have finished it earlier. And there's the GG. There's the GG. That was a good game on the count of both players. I think Sick maybe would have been better served, obviously, going Immortal instead of Colossi, as you said. Or instead of the double Stargate production, also. Oh, I don't believe that was the best move. And it, the Stargates didn't really factor in, really, to me. Like, no. it. There was just those, those never hit that number of void rays. I need a a little bit, but not not a factor in a win or a loss for that game. So, all right. Um, thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, we'll go on to the next game. Um, uh, are we are we live still? We we are still live. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off right. Meow. Turn it off real quick.